uh, great to see you again, and great to meet you guys. By the way, congratulations, Simpsons just passed uh, Gunsmoke. Thank Longest you. Longest scripted. Is that true? Yeah. I haven't been on a show in 20 years. No, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I'll yes. take it. No, Thank but you. I'm just saying it's it's your baby, kind of. I mean, yeah. Do you, you ever watch an episode and go, you know, it's like... That's yeah, it's a baby that I abandoned. So well, I don't know. okay, like, but still. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's a nice baby. It's yeah, nice no, baby. I'm just, I'm just yeah, yeah. giving you props. I'm like, well, no, thank you. thank you. My grandmother used to watch that. <laughs> yeah. All right. He can't, um, he can't take a compliment. That's why he's I just, like, I get very to... awkward. I'll get him. I'll get him. Don't worry. I'll get him. Uh, let's, I'll compliment you on this, the creativity, uh, behind this. What, what, what was the spark? What, what prompted this? Oh, thank this? you. That's, well, Matt's had this idea dancing in his head for like 10 years and he has these notebooks full of just like scribbles and doodles and stuff. And then he came to me and said, Hey, why not, here's this idea. Do you want to do it? And I was like, yes, please. And that was like three years ago. And we just had a, Netflix gave us a really nice long time to sort of develop the show and flesh it all out. And Netflix liked it so much. I think you guys are on for a while, which I love. This is such a fun show. But how did it find its way to you guys? What would your What were your first thoughts when you were pitched on this and you learned about the characters? Because this is not this is not. I wasn't pitched on this. We are not there. We. I'm guessing it's the same. I got an email. Yeah, I auditioned, (laughs) and it was like it's a very boring story that I have come up with. Against in every interview, I just sent a voicemail yeah, in an didn't. email. It's it really phone, like mundane. Thought, I'm not going to get it. Yes, then you forgot yes, about it yes, and then yes. got it. But they blew us away. It was a crazy thing. A lot thing. of self-loathing <laughs> and this self-doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Full, this panel's full of self-loathing. Yeah, I should have brought in a plate of like cookies and croissants yeah. and bagels and, and, and therapists and a yeah, team yeah, of yeah. therapists. And trophies. Yeah. Well, the crazy thing was because it was like it was people were in disparate places and so we didn't have them together and along with Nat Faxon who plays Elfo. So we got these auditions and we actually just pl- cut the tape together to hear those three together and we were like, that's it. That's the trio. And it was like, that was, there's no question. That's cool. that's so cool. All right, what's the selling point to move to Dreamland? Let's say I want to move to Dreamland. Oh. What, 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 what's what's God, on the sign? Uh, you know, good. Yes, I don't, I'm tired. Uh, you have good questions and the, I'm very the official sleepy. I'm a little sign sick. Is, to... It begins with now with, welcome to Dreamland, now with five village idiots. And it's sort of, it's full... It's full of idiots and fools and, and, and stupid humans and some smart ones as well. And so Alpha, Bean, and Lucy, they have to make their way through Dreamland. And it's really like, it's really a coming of age story because Bean, Alpha, and Lucy are all around 18, 19, 20 years old. So it's really about going into the world for the first time. With a crazy backdrop of all Pretty stuff. similar to our real ages. Yeah. <laughs> Best qualities, worst qualities. A little, younger, qualities. Than a little younger. Best qualities. We're younger than the characters. So it's been, it's, we need to do a lot of research. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so was... give, me, give me the best qualities and the worst qualities of your characters. Um, Yours is pretty easy, the drinking and the... Yeah, <laughs> she the can drink that like... Be, I was going to say, she yeah. can drink yeah. anyone under the table, I think. Which is a bad yeah. and a good quality. Bad and that good. <laughs> I'm a devil. I'm a literal demon. Um, so I guess that's bad. But I have a soft spot for being her character. Yeah. Everybody, everybody has secrets in this show as well that are gradually revealed. Secrets. And I also understand, and I don't know how, if I'm allowed to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. The inside jokes too. People, some will get, some won't get. Yes, exactly. Just like Simpsons and Futurama, there are jokes in the background. There are jokes on signs, and there are also mysteries and clues in the background, which is different than Simpsons and Futurama because there's an ongoing deep arc with Bean and with the other characters that's revealed over the course of season. So look, you've got to look for everything. And as Matt says, in the very first frame of the very first episode, there's a clue. So. 